The sun hung low in the sky, painting the jungle in shades of burnt orange and deep shadow as Samantha Ray hacked through the dense undergrowth. Sweat poured down her sun-browned skin, plastering strands of fiery hair to her neck as she pressed on, fueled by equal parts determination and desperation. She had to find it. The Amulet of Eternal Life. Before he did, Sam's hand drifted to the worn leather journal tucked in her pack, its pages brittle with age and heavy with secrets. Her father's journal, the last earthly tie to the man who had raised her, trained her, and ultimately shattered her world with one devastating revelation. It's real, Sam. He'd rasped on his deathbed, eyes fever bright. The amulet. Find it. Destroy it. Before the curse claims you as it did me. A branch snapped behind her and Sam whirled, hand flying to the machete at her hip. From the shadows emerged a figure, tall and lean, one she'd come to know all too well these past weeks. Jumpy, Dr. Ray? The man's voice was a lazy drawl, belying the keen edge in his cerulean gaze. Sam exhaled, forcing her shoulders to relax. Maybe I just don't like being followed, Reese. Reese, Maddox. It ain't Stachimyasin and Denny. Ex-army ranger turned treasure hunter. A man with a reputation for ruthlessness and a knack for finding the unfindable. And her unwanted partner on this little quest, foisted on her by the university funding the expedition. Trust him about as far as you can throw him, her dean had warned. But even a snake can be useful in the right circumstances. Reese flashed a wolfish grin. Just watching your back. Isn't that what partners do? We're not partners, Sam bit out, hacking at a tangle of vines with more force than necessary. You're here for the payout. I'm here for... She trailed off, jaw clenching. The words stuck in her throat. Closure. Redemption. Salvation from the dark legacy that haunted her bloodline. Reese's eyes softened a fraction, something like understanding flickering in their depths. Hey, I... We're going to find it, okay? I promised you that. His large hand engulfed her shoulder, and Sam fought the urge to lean into the contact, to take the offered comfort. But she knew better. Knew the cost of weakness in a world that devoured the vulnerable. She shrugged him off, ignoring the flash of hurt that lanced across his chiseled features. We need to keep moving. We're losing light. As she forged ahead, Sam could feel Reese's gaze boring into her back, a palpable weight. The weight of questions unasked, of secrets unspoken. But she couldn't think about that now. Couldn't afford the distraction, the vulnerability. Not with so much at stake. Not with the shadows of her past nipping at her heels, hungry for blood. Night fell swiftly in the jungle, a shroud of velvet darkness pierced only by the flickering light of their small campfire. Sam hunched over the battered journal, tracing her father's spidery scrawl with a finger. The curse of the amulet is the curse of our blood. To hold eternity in your hands is to know the agony of regret. The crushing weight of unending solitude. For what is forever without the ones we love? Heavy stuff. Sam startled, head snapping up to find Reese crouched across from her, firelight dancing over the hard planes of his face. That's... that's... Rivet, she snapped, slamming the journal shut. Reese held up his hands. Sorry. Didn't mean to pry. He settled back on his haunches, studying her. It's... just... I know what it's like to carry the weight of a father's legacy. Sam frowned, torn between curiosity and the instinctive urge to push him away, to keep the walls up. What do you mean? My old man was army, like me. A lifer. Tough as nails and twice as mean. Reese's gaze turned distant, pained. He had his demons. Whiskey, mostly. And when he drank? Well, let's just say he had a temper. Sam's breath caught, heart twisting in her chest. She knew all too well the scars left by a father's anger, a father's fists. Reese, I'm so sorry. He waved her off. Ancient history. The point is, I get it. The need to atone. To make some kind of sense out of the chaos they left behind. 
His eyes met hers across the dancing flames, raw and understanding. And for a moment, the walls around Sam's heart wavered, cracking under the weight of his sincerity. But only for a moment. Then she looked away, arms folding tight across her chest, like armor against the vulnerability. We should get some sleep. Early start tomorrow. Reese sighed, scrubbing a hand over his stubble jaw. Right. Oh, uh, night, Sam. As he retreated to his bedroll, Sam stared into the dying flames, her father's words echoing in her head. What is forever without the ones we love? She had no answer. Only the hollow ache in her chest where a heart used to be, and the grim knowledge that by journey's end, she would either find absolution or join the ghosts that walked at the edges of her soul. Dawn broke soft and hazy over the jungle, the first pale fingers of light filtering through the dense canopy. Sam rose with the sun, as she always did, shoulders aching from a night spent tossing on the hard ground, chased by the ghosts of her father's final words. Find it. Destroy it. The mantra pulsed in time with her heartbeat as she broke camp, methodical and precise. Reese moved around her, a tall shadow at the edges of her awareness. Always there. Always watching. She could feel the weight of his gaze, the unspoken questions hanging heavy in the humid air between them. But she shoved them down, down, into the locked vault of her heart, where she kept all the things too painful to face. They set out into the jungle, following the winding path laid out in her father's journal. With each mile, the vegetation grew thicker, the air more oppressive. It was like pushing through a living wall, every step a battle hard won. By midday, they were both drenched in sweat. Clothes plastered to skin, lungs burning with the effort of the climb. And then, just when Sam thought she couldn't take another step, they broke through into a clearing. And there it was. The temple. Exactly as her father had described. Towering stone walls choked with vines. Ancient carvings worn soft with age and the ceaseless caress of the elements. Sam's heart stuttered, adrenaline spiking through her exhausted limbs. This was it. The culmination of a lifetime's obsession. The key to the curse that had haunted her family for generations. We made it. Reese breathed at her side, voice tinged with something like awe. I can't believe it. After all this time, Sam didn't answer. Couldn't. Her throat closed around the swelling tide of emotion. Fear and hope and grim determination churning in her gut. She stepped forward, hand drifting to the worn leather of her father's journal. One way or another, it would all end here. The temple's interior was cool and dark, the air thick with the musty scent of age and secrets long buried. Sam clicked on her flashlight, the narrow beam cutting through the gloom like a blade. Beside her, Reese did the same. In the bobbing light, his face was cast in stark relief, all harsh angles and deep shadows. The face of a man, with his own demons, his own sins to atone for. For a fleeting moment, Sam wondered what had driven him to this point, what scars lay beneath the surface of his tough exterior. But she pushed the thought away. She couldn't afford to care. Not now. They moved deeper into the temple, footsteps echoing off the ancient stone. With every turn, every chamber they passed through, Sam's heart beat faster. The journal's map seared into her memory. And then they were there. The heart of the temple. The altar of the amulet. It stood in the center of the chamber, a massive slab of obsidian veined with glinting gold. And there, resting in a hollow at its center. The amulet, Sam breathed, scarcely daring to believe it. We found it. She stepped forward, hand outstretched, fingers trembling. This was it. The moment she'd dreamed of, the moment she'd sacrificed everything for. Her father's redemption. Her own salvation. Her fingertips brushed the amulet's surface, cool and smooth. And then, on. I wouldn't do that if I were you. The voice sliced through the charged silence like a blade, cold and sharp. Sam spun, hand flying to her machete. And there, emerging from the shadows at the edges of the chamber, was a face she'd never thought she'd see again. A face that haunted her nightmares, her darkest, 
most painful memories. Hello, little sister. The man smiled, a cruel twist of the lips. It's been a long time. Sam's blood turned to ice in her veins. Ethan, she whispered, the name ash on her tongue. What? What are you doing here? Her brother? Her tormentor? Her darkest secret? The one she'd left behind all those years ago, the night she'd fled into the darkness with nothing but the clothes on her back and the scars he'd carved into her soul. Ethan spread his hands, the picture of false innocence. Same as you, I expect. Chasing the amulet. Dot. Chasing immortality? Sam shook her head, numb horror, giving way to simmering rage. No, ah, you don't get to have it. Not after everything you've done. Everything you? Her voice broke, hot tears stinging her eyes. Everything you took from me. Beside her, Reese stirred, confusion and dawning realization warring on his face. Sam, what's going on? Who is this guy? Ethan's dark gaze flicked to him, amused. Ah, you must be the latest in my sister's long line of defenders. His lip curled. Tell me, has she let you in on our little family secret yet? Reese's brow furrowed. What secret? Don't listen to him, Sam gritted out, grip tightening on her machete. He's a liar. A monster. Monster? Ethan echoed, chuckling darkly. Oh, Sammy, you wound me. Is that any way to talk about the man who made you what you are? He stepped closer, firelight glinting off the scars that twisted up his forearms. Scars Sam knew matched her own, a map of the horrors they'd endured under their father's cruel tutelage. You and I? We're the same, Ethan murmured, eyes glinting with a zealot's fervor, forged in blood and pain. Destined for greatness, Sam's stomach churned, bile rising in her throat. I'm nothing like you. I never will be. No, no. Quick as a snake, Ethan's hand shot out, seizing her wrist in a crushing grip. Then why are you here, sister mine? Why chase the amulet, if not for the power it promises? He yanked her closer, breath hot against her ear. Admit it. You want it. The chance to rise above the scars, the weakness to never be afraid again. For a heartbeat, Sam wavered. Because God help her, part of her did want it. The chance to be free, to be strong, to never feel powerless again. But then she thought of her father wasting away in his obsession. Of the cold void in his eyes as he'd handed her a knife, watched her slice into her own flesh as Ethan laughed and laughed. No. The amulet was a false hope a poisoned chalice. She saw that now. Resolve hardened in her belly, cold and sharp as a blade. She met Ethan's gaze, unflinching. You're wrong. I'm not here for power. I'm here to end this. Once and for all. She tore free of his grip, snatching the amulet from its altar before he could react. In one smooth motion, she raised it high and smashed it on the stone floor with all her strength, Golden shards exploded outward, skittering into the shadows. For a moment, there was only stunned silence. Then Ethan roared, a sound of pure, unbridled rage. He lunged at Sam, hands grasping, murder in his eyes. She braced herself for the impact, for the pain sure to follow. But it never came. Instead, a dark blur crashed into Ethan, sending them both tumbling to the ground in a tangle of fists and fury. Reese, Dot, defending her, even now, even after everything. Sam stood frozen, watching the two men grapple, the culmination of a lifetime's anguish played out in blood and brutality. Part of her longed to look away, to run, to leave the pain behind. But she was done running. From this, from him, from herself. Jaw clenched. Sam joined the fray. Minutes or hours later, it was over. Ethan lay still on the bloodied stones, breath rattling wetly from a ruined throat. Dying, but not yet dead. Sam knelt beside him, numb to the pain of her own wounds, the slick of blood painting her skin. 
leaned close, voice a broken rasp. You were wrong, Ethan. We're not the same. We never were. She closed her fingers over the knife hilt protruding from his chest. The knife Reese had buried there in those last desperate moments. Met her brother's hate-filled gaze and twisted. Goodbye, brother, she whispered as the light faded from his eyes. A benediction. A condemnation. Then she rose on unsteady legs and stumbled into Reese's waiting arms. Together, they limped out of the temple, out of the darkness, and into the light of a new dawn. The journey back through the jungle was a blurred haze of pain and exhaustion, each stumbling step a Herculean effort. Sam leaned heavily on Reese, his solid strength the only thing keeping her upright as they staggered through the undergrowth. The adrenaline of the temple had faded, leaving her hollowed out, a walking wound. Ethan's blood drying sticky on her hands, her brother's final rattling breath echoing in her ears on an endless loop. It's, it was over. It was finally over. And yet, Sam felt no triumph, no sense of victory. Only a bone-deep weariness, a grief so profound it stole her breath. Reese seemed to sense it, the maelstrom raging beneath her skin. He tightened his arm around her waist, a silent support, and pressed on through the clinging vines. By the time they reached the base camp, night had fallen, shrouding the world in shadow. Sam barely registered Reese guiding her to her tent, easing her down onto her bedroll. His hands on her face, tilting her chin up to meet his gaze. Sam, dot you. Sam, stay with me. She blinked, his face swimming into focus. Brow furrowed, eyes bright with concern. I'm here, she mumbled, numb lips clumsy around the words. I'm... I'm... But what was she? Alive, yes. Whole? She wasn't sure anymore. Reese smoothed her blood-caked hair back from her face, touch achingly gentle. You're safe now. It's over. Sam shook her head, throat tight. It's never over. Don't you see? The curse, the darkness, it's in my blood. Ethan was right. I'll never be free of it. No, thou? Reese's voice was fierce, his grip on her tightening. Ethan was wrong, Sam Dada. About everything. You're not defined by your blood, by your scars. You're so much more than that. Sam stared at him, barely daring to breathe. Barely daring to hope. How can you say that? After everything you've seen, everything I've done. You survived. Reese cut her off, eyes blazing. You endured. And when the moment came, when you had the chance to seize power for yourself, you walked away. You chose to be better, to be stronger. He cupped her face in his warm, calloused palms. That's who you are, Sam. Not the curse. Not the darkness. The woman who looked evil in the eye and said no more. The woman I... He faltered, swallowing hard. The woman I love. Sam's heart seized, a sweet, sharp ache blossoming beneath her ribs. Reese. But he shook his head, thumbs sweeping over her cheekbones. You don't have to say it anything. I just needed you to know. To understand that I see you, Sam. The real you. And she is... Extraordinary. Tears blurred Sam's vision, spilling hot over her cheeks. And then she was reaching for him, fingers curling into his shirt, pulling him close. Their lips met, soft and searingly sweet, and for a moment the world fell away. No pain, no blood, no ghosts. Just him and her and this fragile, perfect thing blooming between them. They lost themselves in each other, hands and mouths mapping new terrain, committing every sigh and shudder to memory. And when they finally came together, it was with a tenderness that shattered Sam, reforged her anew. After, they lay tangled in the dark skin cooling, hearts slowing. Reese's fingers traced idle patterns on her shoulder, his breath a contented sigh in her hair. What now? He murmured, voice rumbling through her. Where do we go from here? Sam nestled closer, palm resting over his steady heartbeat. Home, she whispered. We go home. 
Miles away and weeks later, Sam stood on the sun-dappled porch of a quaint farmhouse, an unfamiliar peace settling into her bones. The air smelled of fresh hay and apple blossom, the breeze carrying the distant lowing of cattle. Reese's family farm. A place of healing, he'd called it. A place to rest, to grow, to learn how to live again. She'd been skeptical at first, memories of her own fractured family, her own broken childhood holding her back. But Reese had taken her hand, eyes soft and sure. You can build a new legacy, Sam. We can. Together. And looking into his face, seeing the love, the steadfast belief shining there, she dared to believe him. Now, watching him stride across the golden fields, tall and strong and so very hers, Sam felt the last puzzle piece of her heart slot into place. This was where she was meant to be. This was the future she'd never let herself dream of. A love to heal. A purpose to nurture. A new beginning, rising from the ashes of the past. Reese reached her, pulling her into his arms with a grin that outshone the sun. Welcome home, Sam Dada. Sam smiled up at him, arms twining around his neck. I love you, she whispered, the words a revelation, a vow. I love you. He kissed her, long and deep and full of promise. And Sam knew, with a certainty that echoed in her very soul, that she had finally found her place in this world. Her um, I'll show you. Do. Her heart. Her heart won happily ever after. The end.